The secret, Alice, is to surround yourself with people who make your heart smile. It's then, only then, that you'll find Wonderland. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be inviting you to a magical tea party. We're going to be joining Alice in her wonderland. The first thing we're going to do with this space is take off all of the filming equipment. I've had to ask for some assistance because I am running out of time. I've only got a few hours to get this out. I'm going to be placing the scarves on here to give some greenery and colour. You can see I have placed the scarf here but it's not quite long enough so I'm going to be using a second one just to cover this part up here. Guys, I am so excited to put this together, it's going to be amazing and this makes for a really nice party idea. Alright, let me bring you guys down to the printer. This is where we are printing the characters and I've printed this on A3, I do have an A3 printer but this is inkjet so all we're going to do is print the characters out and cut them out. For this tablescape party DIY you're going to need every single teapot that you own because they have lots of teapots in Alice in Wonderland as well as lots of cups, different sizes and saucers. I'm also using some old clocks that don't work anymore. I'm also using some of my squishies because they make fun artificial cakes. So I've decided to place a clock in the centre here and I'm taking this, I'm not sure what this is, I got this from the charity shop and then I'm taking this beautiful shabby chic bowl and I'm placing that on top and then we're going to take the squishy cake and just place that inside. And I've taken this teapot, removed the lid and added a flower on the top there and sprouting out is some greenery. Next you're going to take a saucer, place it in the centre there and then we're going to stack three cups together just like this. Next you're going to take some of this pearl garland, I got mine from Poundland and you're going to drape it all down your cups like this. You're going to place two artificial flower heads in the corner there. I'm also using one of these keys just in the saucer there. I filled my cup with these beautiful crystal gems. They're in the wedding section in Poundland and I've placed one there as well. And these crystals also remind me of the sugar lumps that the Mad Hatter keeps adding to his tea. I'm making use of this donut squishy and placing that there. I just felt like there was something missing and that's just perfect. I've also put one of these LED lights just in the corner here. So I think that the centerpiece is now done and I'm going to move on to all the other bits. And moving on, I've just written a drink me and created a label and I've put one of those little keys in and this artificial cake slice that I've created a tutorial for on my channel and then some artificial flowers there. This cup here I've placed a really big diamond, again this was from the Poundland in the wedding section and I've taken some old cards. And for this teapot here I've just taken a pack of these mushrooms and placed one in there and added some moss in here and placed two more. And to make this a little crazy because we are doing an Alice in Wonderland theme here, I'm taking one of my squishies, this is a strawberry and I'm placing it inside the teapot. Then you're going to take some playing cards and place them in any empty spaces that you have on the table. To make this even weirder, I've got a tiny teapot here just to play around with the scale and perspective. I also have small teacups there and I've added some glass gemstones in there and put this pocket watch just there. I also have this clear teapot, I've removed the lid, put in some lavender and added a butterfly on top. Taking another cup and saucer here, this is just beautiful, I've got this in the charity shop and I'm also taking another cake size that I have created and I got this as a gift, it's like a clay flower, so I'm placing that inside just on the top there. For all of the empty spaces as well as adding cards, I put in some flower heads and these miniature keys as well as some wooden rabbit embellishments. I've put a bunch of tulips in this area. And in this corner here, I've got my floating teacup. I've done a DIY on this, so you can check it out. And the main feature of this party is, of course, the characters. So we've printed this out on card and cut them out. And we're going to stick them on the ends of the table as if they're sitting down at the tea party. And we've already got someone joining in on the tea party. 
Your characters are going to be flimsy and lean back, so in order to stop that, use some sellotape to stick a twig on at the back just to make it stronger. And I'm sticking the characters on with these sticky pads. You must have a cup of tea. You're entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. I'm not crazy. My reality is just different than yours. And here's the finished look. I hope that you guys have had fun coming along with me to this wacky tea party. Unlike how short this video is, this actually took a very long time putting together. So if you have enjoyed it, please do leave me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to join me. So please do consider clicking that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching. You know I appreciate and love you all. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.